Welcome back to The Space Between and welcome to Yoga Toba 2017, baby. Um, I'm pretty excited in case you can't tell. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that myself and Trillium Yoga, aka Emily, um, are doing a little collab this month um, called uh, hashtag, of course, Ben Don't Break. Um, so in honor of that, I'm doing some Yoga Toba stuff and I have a few little different flows planned for you guys throughout this month, but for the next few days we're going to be doing some Bend Don't Break stuff. Um, I've had a super stressful morning, so I am in need of a good back bend. Um, just helps me to oh, calm down and do stress. Um, so yeah, for the next couple of days we're going to be doing some back bend play. Um, I'll try and offer you some variations as well. So if you don't already have this or if you're quite new to yoga, um, then I'll give you some variations that you can try whilst you build up to them. So let's begin. All right then guys, so before we begin, if you want to bring your hands to heart center, roll the shoulders back, ground those hips down, straighten and lengthen the spine, close the eyes. Bring some awareness to the breath. And give me some nice deep belly breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. <laughs> and if you would like to set an intention for your practice today, now is a great time. It's just going to be a short one, but it's still nice to practice with intention. Maybe that's to ground down a little bit, maybe that's to just top yourself up with some self care. Uh, maybe it's just to welcome uh, October, which is pretty much what my intention is today. Okay. So I'm going to begin with um, a very sort of beginner-friendly variation um, of doing some back bends, and then over the next couple of days we'll explore some slightly more challenging ones, and then whatever ones you feel you can practice in your own time. Okay. So we're going to begin with some cat cows. These are so nice to warm up the spine a little bit. So we're going to spread the knees so we're shoulder width apart, spread the hands, um, sorry, spread the knees so they're hip width apart and the hands will be shoulder width apart. And then as you inhale, we're going to drop the pelvis and tilt that chin up. And then as you exhale, you're pushing the hands down, arching the back like an angry cat. And just at your own rhythm, your own pace. Just warming up the spine. Remembering as you inhale, try and draw the shoulders away from the ears to create some space. And as you exhale, pushing the hands down, almost like you're trying to draw the shoulder blades apart. One more time. Good, punching the neutral spine. Okay, now we're going to lie down. <laughs> this is everyone's favourite, right? Just going to chart here. Okay, so I'm going to pay attention first of all to the soles of my feet, okay? So I'm going to, um, my feet are just face down. Hopefully you can see, I'll just move this cushion out of the way. Sorry guys. Bizarre. Kind of see, so my feet are just flat on the ground. And um, they're grounding the toes down into the ground, okay? And by grounding the toes down, if I relax my, my feet, my whole legs relax. But if I ground down with my toes, then my legs are engaged, my bum is engaged. I'm also grounded down with my hips here as well. I'm going to bring my elbows so that they're underneath, stacked underneath my shoulders. Spreading the fingertips, rolling the shoulders back away from the ears. Again, always creating with a little bit more space. You can close the eyes, you can tilt the chin up if that feels good on the neck. Or you can just gaze forward. Taking a few breaths here. And this is our Sphinx posture. And this is quite a gentle um, back bend. And if you want to take it up a notch, you can come onto your hands. So for this, I like to keep my hips on the floor still, so my hips are still ground into my mat. Bring my hands back a little bit. So they're sort of at the level, yeah, I guess they're just the level of my shoulders. And then I gently come up. Rolling the shoulders back and down. Keeping the elbows towards the body. Still grounding down with those feet. 
and then release into the mat. And then we can come up with an inhale, come up onto the fingertips, and then with an exhale, lowering down. So we're just doing some gentle cobra rolls. Inhale up. Exhale down. to the hands and let's bring it back so the big toes are touching and we're going to lean back into child's pose fold, sorry, <laughs> forehead on the floor you can keep the arms in front or bring them to the side closing the eyes connecting to the breath connecting with the theme of grounding gratitude um, of today's class just because it is autumn but also bear in mind our bend don't break and just allowing ourselves to practice practice what we preach. Okay, and then coming up. All right, so this time we're gonna practice some, I think we're gonna practice some half frog. So, my foot, I'm gonna get, again, keep my foot nice and grounded down. I'm gonna come onto my um, right elbow and I'm gonna lift my left foot. I'm just going to gently try and find a bit of space and I pull that back. I might try and bring my, there we are, bring my knee so it's splaying out a little bit less. Good. And then maybe release that side, perhaps lower for a moment. And then lifting the right leg, coming onto the left elbow. Just going to scooch the right arm down. Taking a few breaths here. You might feel tighter on one side, that's completely fine. And gently release. Maybe lie down for a moment. Taking a breath. And then gently coming up. And then this time we're just going to lie on our backs. Okay. I'm just going to do a few hip raises here. This is just good preparation for um, doing a bridge posture, which we'll be doing later on in the week. So for now, we're going to bend the knees, tickle the heels with the fingertips. And we're going to raise the hips. Try and keep some space between the ears and the shoulders. Remembering to deep, to breathe, to breathe deeply and fully. And try not to let the knees splay out, okay? So we're hugging the knees together. If you have a block, you can wedge that between your knees. Close the eyes. Maybe lifting the toes and then spreading the toes and then placing them back down. Grounding is so important, it, may, it really helps us to feel secure, feel safe. And this helps us to be a little bit more malleable, to bend without breaking, both mentally and physically. And gently release. Feel the tailbone sink into the ground, onto the mat. Good, this time I'm going to interlace the hands behind the back as I lift the hips and I'm going to shuffle onto my shoulders a little bit. And here we are. And gently release my shoulders and the hips. Feel that grounding. <laughs> and I think we'll do just one more variation. So gently lifting the hips. You can stay here if you'd like to, guys. You can bring the hands together, do the shoulder shuffle. 
If you like, you can keep the hands together or you can keep them apart. I think I'm going to actually bring mine apart a little bit here. But you could clasp them together like we just were. And then you're going to lift your right leg, spread the toes. Release. And lift the left leg, spread the toes. And lift the hips. And release. Nice and strong, and then slowly lower vertebra by vertebra. Gently coming up to a seated position. If you have five minutes, it's nice to just lie out in Shavasana now. Okay, if you have a little bit more time, you can check out some of my other videos. Bringing the hands to heart centre, closing the eyes. Thanking yourselves for being here today. Thank you for joining me. Um, do feel free to share um, this video and also your experiences through uh, Instagram or in the comments below. I hope that you're all having a wonderful start to Yoga Toba. <laughs> and Namaste. Just don't get too far and I'll be right.